Hello, welcome back. So now you're all excited about using your psoas muscle, right? If not, go back and watch the previous video because this is one amazing muscle. In the last video, I showed you where your psoas lies in your body and how to de-stress it, how to release it, and how to make it available for movement. Hi, I'm Maya Aubrey, and today we're going to learn how the psoas muscle can help you move with ease and effortlessness through your Pilates classes, hiking mountains, or whatever exercise you choose to do. There's basically three actions your psoas muscle can do. Remember it's attached to your low back and to your inner thigh bone. So using your psoas muscle can lift your leg into flexion, or if your leg is stationary, it can fold your torso into flexion, or you can do them both at the same time. Think of that wonderful Pilates exercise called teaser. There's a psoas mover. Let's hit the mat and look at a few Pilates exercises. It's fun and beneficial to use imagery to create a deeper, more enjoyable experience. Imagine what your psoas is doing during single leg stretch. Remember from the last video to relax your knee into your chest to release the quads. Now pull the head up towards the knee and lengthen the other psoas. As you change from one leg to the other, remember to release deeply as you bend the knee and lengthen. Your leg is floating and suspended from your psoas muscle, anchoring that navel to the floor, anchors the top half of your psoas. For double leg stretch, feel the psoas pull your knees into your chest. And remember when the legs go out, anchor the top of the psoas where it connects to the spine. Breathing helps the psoas move with ease. Remember to release those hip joints. Now for roll-ups, think of anchoring the inner thigh where the psoas inserts and roll and lengthen away from the inside of your thigh. So remember the psoas connects to the low back and as you roll up, curl the top of the psoas towards the inner thigh. It makes it really fun and pleasurable and really takes the pressure off. Now for teaser, again, hug the knees in so the quads are out of the equation. Stretch one leg at a time and feel that the psoas is holding your legs up. And once your legs are above 90 degrees, teaser is effortless. You're using your psoas to float and suspend the body. Now as you lower halfway down, lengthen the psoas muscle in two directions and then bring the muscles together, pulling and sliding the muscle fibers, lengthening them apart and then slide the muscle fibers together. So as stretching and shortening. Fun, yeah? Being aware of your psoas muscle makes it work better for you. If you can feel it, you can change it. If it's tight, you'll know how to release it now. And if it's weak, learn how to strengthen it without creating tension in your hip joints. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like more information, come to my website at mayaaubreypilates.com and we'll keep those joints and so as is moving because motion is lotion for your joints. Come on, you're cold. How you doing, you know? Bitch, you're not your buddy.